Hello Trine Enthusiast, my name is James and welcome to the start of our brand new daily playthrough. This playthrough is going to be playing through the game in expert mode. Now I did originally do a playthrough in expert mode a few months ago, however I put it on hiatus. Since then I've gained about 40,000 new subscribers and I really feel like it's unfair going back to an old series when we could start a fresh one and get to that point even faster than before. I now have a full 1.3 playthrough under my belt where I go from beginning to moon lord. I have a fisherman's playthrough and now I am really prepared for expert mode. So join me today as we go through from beginning to moon lord in expert mode. And we're going to take a kind of multi a multi approach where I use a variety of different weapons, accessories and such whatever it takes. So this is going to be just like the Fisherman's playthrough where I try and condense a few hours of my day into 20 minutes for you guys. And like I say, it will be up every single day. So you guys have got something to look forward to. If this is the first series you've seen of mine, make sure to click that subscribe button. By clicking that button, you'll be the first to see when these episodes post because they post around the same time every single day so you guys can keep up to date. So I'm going to do a little jump cut now and I'm going to build a little base in the middle of this world so that we can actually survive the night. Okay, so Walter has a tiny little house now. That's going to be his first base of operations. Up here is for the merchant. Now, I think I spotted a little starting chest, so we best go get it. The plan is now to get a few little items to actually survive a night. I'm probably going to get a lot more wood. And what I'll probably do with that wood is make some armor. I'll probably make uh, a little sword. And that will help us fend off against some of the slimes. Alright, so we got some pretty good stuff here. I do like herb bags. I didn't get any in my last series. Herb bags are great for... Uh, for people that want to take a fishing approach uh, and they want to make potions and such, which is what we're going to do in this series. We're going to use our knowledge that we gained from the last series in this one to make the kind of ultimate series playthrough for me. So, may as well grab this as well. That's a great accessory off the bat. Aglet, that's going to help us avoid some stuff. It's also going to make the game just a little bit faster, and that's nice. All right, let's take out these guys. Come on, and die, slime. Hey, not getting my butt kicked by a slime just yet, people. Not just yet. You wait until you get them mother slimes though, they'll kill me straight away. Right. Ugh, corruption off the bat. Not what I was hoping for. Because that does limit the way we can move in our world. I will take some of these trees though. Uh, I probably will get murdered though if I stay too close to this area. Yeah, not a great start in the sense of uh, world progression. I'm just not great on that. Like, I'm just not really fond of having corruption that close to the world. I like lots of green spread out over nowhere. Like, in the middle, if you get me. Oh, God, they're already coming. I can I can see one of them bobbing. Can you see him on the far left of the screen? Let's, uh, let's put down some, some acorns and just get the hell out of here. Hopefully, he'll, like, uh, he'll go away. Right, we have got recall potions, which is nice. Got an iron skin. That's a great way to start. Got some starting chests as well, which is going to be good for uh, crafting and such. We can actually, like, equip this guy here. Oh, little green bunny. I like him. Right, so let's check out what's on the other side of our world. But first, let's set up a let's set up a chest. Right, so this can be we'll do these we'll do this one for building. So we'll whack in here some dirt, some platforms, shuriken, uh, stone, a little bit of iron. You know, what I mean, we'll put that in there, and then we'll make a little potion, uh, a little area for potions. So we'll put them in there, them, them. We'll keep these on us. This will be our potion area. It's just obviously going to take a little bit of time before we can actually start organizing properly. Let's close the door on him. Right, so let's check out what we have on the other side just before night time. Got a little pot here. Yeah, it's not bad. Got a little heart in there as well. Yeah, we're only on 100 health though. It's not really going to do much to us now. Got some sunflowers, which we can bring with us. Because then we can put them next to our house. That should stop enemy aggression. Right, got another herb bag. We really are going with a herby kind of bag way of this, aren't we? Right, let's take out you. Right, what's in this one? We've got another aglet and a herb bag. Good thing about this aglet, it's got plus three melee speed, which we'll take. And we got a sandy slime, which we're not too fond of, right? Because we're not going to be able to kill it anytime soon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the house. I'm going to make a little bit of armor. I'm going to sit out the night time because we don't want that coming and killing us. Let's just have a little look at our money. We've got 33 silver. I may use some of the night time to actually do some um, to do some killing because if we get 50 silver, we're going to have a merchant straight off the bat. We can start fishing and such. It'll be a really good time. So what a great first day. And uh, I'll keep you up to date with uh, exploration and stuff, guys. So I actually just got a funny little starting weapon, a zombie arm. I always forget that these are a thing, and they're actually uh, not bad. Well, in expert mode, they 
they do need a little bit buffing up, but it's not actually a bad little sword. Obviously, when we're defacing like big zombies like this, it's not going to do as much good. But against the common slime, not actually bad. Or against a cave bat, not actually bad. Like, if we're going to go against something normal, let's say... Yeah, there's nothing this way. But yeah, not... Okay, let's test out on this guy, right? Put up a torch first. Swing our zombie arm. Not bad, is it? Not bad. Right, so I'm going to keep fending off the knight. What I'm currently doing is I'm trying to build up silver, which we've also got 50 silver, which is great. But I'm trying to light up this area, which will make it nicer at night for you guys at home. Also, uh, happy 1st of December, everyone, if you're a person who celebrates Christmas. Um, enjoy the month of December. Once Christmas season kicks in, which is the 15th of December for Terraria, I'll be sure to do some kind of Christmas specials and such. And until then, keep a good eye on the channel because I want to do Christmas specials just in general. Because I love Christmas and I love these little tiny fast zombies because they make me laugh. Okay, uh, announcement over. So one thing I wanted to do with my expert mode playthrough is to try and set up a good sense of navigation really early on. So what I'm doing is I'm starting to tunnel down into the earth because obviously we can't go this way, we're going to die. In the sand biome we really are pushing our luck. If we do manage to stumble across something awesome like a like sand in a bottle kind of deal, which is kind of unlikely, it would be good. But no. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of carve my own path in this little world and dig down. And I'll let you guys know if we find anything cool. Uh, as it currently sounds, we probably won't find anything cool for quite a while because I am mining very, very slowly. Oh my god, our merchant's called Walter. That is perfect. Oh my god, we're in a world with Walter and Walter. Let us never let him die. Okay, so we've found our first little proper chest. Now, all we have to do is take out the red slime that's guarding it. Which shouldn't be too hard at all. Alright. Unless he, like, kind of flukes us like this. Come on! Yeah, there we go. Right, so we have our first little area. So, what do you guys think we'll get? I'm hoping it's some kind of movement accessory. Like something that's actually worthwhile. Oh my god, we got one of these again. Okay, wait a sec. I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. <laughs> Tell you what, while we're here, we may as well actually buy a net. Because that's what I wanted. I wanted a book net and I wanted an anvil. Which we do not have enough for. But I do have something to sell you, good sir. Maybe that can uh, maybe weigh up the price. I want to sell my starting thing. I want to sell my aglet. So let's see. Will you exchange me these? No, I still don't have enough. Uh, let's sell this blowpipe because it sucks. Right, so let's get an, an an iron anvil. I didn't want to spend iron on an anvil. Uh, like, I didn't want to actually uh, build one because I want to save our iron. Eh, not too bad. Alright, so I'm going to go down and I'm going to try and time this right. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that worked out pretty well. Alright, let's find out what we got in here. Next time I won't be so stupid with my grenades. Was that first death? First death. Alright, so we got a band of regeneration, which is not bad. Uh, the buff on it's not that great. We got a regen potion, which will be good for later. Some shurikens, some bombs. Eh, it's not too bad at all, actually. That's a, like a, I'd say it's like a pretty standard, uh, pretty standard setup. I don't think there's anything else that I need to take. What I'm, what I am going to do is I am going to go to the, uh, to this left a little bit. I'm going to go into here because this area looks kind of cool, but I don't know what it is. Actually, now that I look at it, it doesn't look that cool at all. Hmm, maybe it could be something. Well, I, what I'll do is I'll check it out and I'll let you guys know. If it's anything special, I'll show it. If it's not, we'll just skip it. Oh my god, we got something insanely awesome. Oh, the whoopee cushion. Oh yeah, can you access it? Oh no. Oh, I have not had one of these in years, right? When I first started playing Terraria, when they were insanely, insanely, insanely rare, I got one on my first day of ever playing, and I thought it was, like, really normal until years after, when I realized that they were actually, like, not rare, but, like, quite rare. Um, so yeah, really awesome. Um, that's a cool little find, that is. Not a bad addition. That's why I like actually mining your own little paths, because you find little cool stuff like that. Because obviously, otherwise, you're probably not going to face that many worms, unless you're doing something like this. Very, very cool addition. Really liking this. Alright, looks like we're on to our second gold chest, people. What will we get this time? Right, so we got some gravitation potions, which are good for finding sky chests. We got some gold bars, some hunter potions, some healing potions. That's actually not too bad. The grab potions are going to come in handy, because obviously, floating islands. Um, as long as we don't die and such up there. But yeah, no, that's not bad at all. Tell you what, we may, um, we may go and get that now. We may go and try that out. What I want to do, though, is I want to keep up with this uh, little path that I'm carving away. And trying to extend it into like more like 
like more enriching areas. But first, we're probably gonna have to take out this guy. So let's do it on camera together. Do I get my butt kicked by a granite elemental? No, I remember I actually faced one of these in my first 1.3 playthrough and it took forever to kill. Right, so I'm gonna keep you guys up to date with what I do next. Um, in these first little like, first little like two hours of the game, I like to like just navigate on my own and just, you know, see what I find. I'm not going for anything special at the minute. I'm just like exploring my world and trying to get used to it. Oh, what have I done here? Oh, oh my god, oh my god, I realize what I've just done. My mind cannot even process that. They just spawned a bunch of slimes like an idiot. Oh. Oh, I have a good idea. We could use this to our advantage, right? We could use this to uh, to get a slime staff. Ah. Yeah, that's a good little idea. If we could be bothered to do it, that wouldn't be too bad. Well, oh, what? I didn't realize he did that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. We're down to two health. That's never good. Right, so I'm going to carry on and I'll let you guys know if anything changes. Okay, so to pass a little bit of time, I am going to try out this little grav potion and I'm going to try and not die. Right, that is the goal. I'm going to try and see if I can uh, find something cool, find a little floating island. I will not bring you guys on the adventure because I find that this is really tricky to watch. But I will show you if I find anything cool. Okay, found some. Awesome. Right, let's open this door up. Let's uh, flick on the light switch. And a Star Fury, not bad, and a Sky Mill. That's not bad at all either. Right, I don't want to get killed, but I want to carry on looking for uh, Floating Island, so I'm going to try and escape from here really fast. Oh, that Arby's catching up on me. That Arby's got... Yeah. <laughs> gotta be done. Right, so we got a Star Fury, and that's kind of like our first main weapon. So that means that if we get some stars going, we might start, we might start being able to use it properly. I've not used it in a long time though, so I'm not sure exactly how well I'd be doing with it. Let's have a little look. I guess it's not too hard to fire. How many? One, two, three. We could pretty much keep firing this instant. Oh wow, that's not bad. We literally keep firing it like infinitely. Awesome. That's kind of cool. That's going to be a cool little weapon. Now, which way do we go? Instead of going into the corruption, I am going to go face the sand biome, uh, which I'll show in the map over is over here. We died up here. So I'm going to go try and uh, see what I can find. I want to find maybe like an ocean biome. I want to build another room though. I want to build another room for the angler. That's the thing. Because I want to get some fishing quests done. Because in our last series it worked out so well for us. So I don't see why we shouldn't do it this time around. And uh, I'll also get some water. Because I need some water for my water buckets. And I'm going to keep my uh, ammo in there. Right. So. Let me go and explore. And we should be done for the day very, very soon. I want to get lots done today. I want to get, like, a really, really good productive start. So we can, like, kind of badass this later on. Okay, so we got a traveling merchant. This could be a good little chance of getting something cool. 5% um, increased damage and critical strike chance. I don't have two gold. And I don't feel like I've got anything... There we go. <laughs> sure, equip it. Nice. Defense 5, what was it before? 3, and what does our weapon do there? 14, what did it do before? 14, I can't remember, what does this do? 4% defense, increased damage and critical strike chance. Eh, cool. Not a bad little item at all, I guess. And it looks kind of badass, I like it. Alright, so we've found a jungle on this side, which is uh, kind of unexpected. I didn't really think about finding a jungle here. So, what I may do is I may be really, really cheeky, and I may stay here for a little while and craft a yo-yo. Remember, the only, yo the only like, thing that we need is, like, eight rich mahogany, you know, two stingers, a tiny little bit of jungle spore. It really isn't much to craft this thing, so I may stick around here for a little while and see what I can do. Obviously, we're in expert mode, so I don't know if I'll actually live. Um, I guess I can bring you guys on the adventure, and this will be the final part of today's episode, because we've got a really fantastic weapon here for one. Look, look at the damage this is doing, right? They're, they're, they're doing a lot of damage to us, no doubt, but we're doing good damage back, right? Gonna grab everything and go when it comes to the jungle. Right, we're gonna swap over this for this. Right, which I'd only just crafted. Alright, and we're gonna. Oh, being an idiot. Being an idiot. Uh, okay. Right, I'm gonna go back there and not be an idiot this time. <laughs> okay, so we're back here again. Uh, I'm not being an idiot this time. Right, I'm gonna grab this. Uh, Alright, so we've got another band of regen, which is good because this one is plus three damage instead of plus one melee. 
Um, and I can always sell that or I can use it for crafting later on. And I got an iron band anvil and I'll take this as well. Now, like I said, I want to stick around a little bit until I've gotten what I needed. So I need some stingers, like I said, and I needed a little bit of jungle spore. So I'm going to kick around here until I've got it. We'll go back to the house, do a little bit of crafting, and that'll be the end of today's episode. Right, now I just got absolutely murdered. I'm going to skip the jungle for now. Say what, though? That little thing is uh, really, 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 really powerful. All I did was literally touch it, and it killed me. Not good. Right, so before I end today's episode, one thing I want to do is I want to, one, make sure I put everything in the chest so that we've got everything already stored. Um, and then, what I want to do is I want to, um, well, I want to do that last gravitational potion because I think that'll be good. So, let me just put everything away. Um, I've got a whole section for nature and fishing and all this stuff now. Everything's looking pretty good when it comes to, um, I'll put seeds in there. Everything's looking pretty good when it comes to organization, which is good. It's really nice to start a series like that. Right, and we'll put away the acorns, and that should do it for the actual chest. So, potion, let's get our last grab potion, and, right. So, one was over there. Should we go try over this way? I say we go try over that way. So, alright, I'm going to go turn on my mini-map. Try and find something, and I'll let you guys know. I don't want to show it because it really does make people dizzy, and that's not good. And I found one as I stopped recording, which I know you guys saw. Right, oh, okay. Oh, it's one of these. It's not got a door either. That's not good. Let's please not get killed. Loot all. Run. Ah, oh, what an awesome accessory. Dude, what a great way to start the day. And get out of here, Harvey. There we go. We can actually kill you this time. And we'll take your feather as well for when we need a featherfall potion. Oh, no, never mind then. Right, well, let's carry on the quest for floating islands, I guess. That was, um, yeah, that was a really good find. I didn't see what prefix it had then. Plus one defense, that's not bad. In order to reforge that. That's going to be so good for expert mode. Fall damage is such a killer in any playthrough. And now we've got a way to combat it. How awesome. Okay, so we found our last one. Now, there's one thing I want to do before we get killed is I want to put down some ropes so that we can actually come back to this one. Right, so let's try and take out this person here first. And then we'll get some ro- Oh no, we're gonna die. I wanna really, like, use this in the future. I don't wanna die, that's the thing. Uh, will we be able to take it out? That's the question. Oh, their feathers get slow. I never noticed that in the water. Right, okay, let's put some rope down. Right, but at least we'll know where this is in the future. Right, I'm gonna probably need a lot of rope for this. Hopefully it's not going down one of them little corruption pits. Right, let's go. The total velocity of this is crazy. The way this, like, how fast you go when you're descending, descending from one of these. It's really cool. Right, okay, let's not get knocked off. Oh, wow. Oh, those trees look really, really nice. Sorry, they look very, very festive, and I really like that. I'm a festive kind of guy, and that's good to see. Right, so that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I've had a really fantastic time recording this. I feel like expert mode is off to a really, really successful start. Um, we're going to start, obviously, doing lots of cool stuff in the future. Uh, I'll sell that. And, um, yeah, and I'm glad you guys can come along for the journey with me. If you want to do me a big, 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 big favor... Um, how about clicking that like button? I don't ever ask for likes, but I just want to know if you guys actually like today's episode. It'd be really nice if you could give some positive feedback and such and let me know what you want to see. So yeah, have a really fantastic day everyone, and I will see you, like I said, tomorrow. Peace guys. Good morning.